So now we have seen that whatever energy transfers were taking place. Now coming to another part of the, the fluid machine related to compressor is the diffuser part. So we have seen earlier where is where is the diffuser in our machine. So after the impeller blades, we have the diffuser. So what's the purpose of diffuser and uh, how, how it is going to help us, we'll be seeing over here. So the kinetic energy is diffused to pressure energy in the diffuser. So whatever kinetic energy, which is more than the inlet kinetic energy is being converted to pressure energy. So what diffuser looks like something which is having a gradual increasing cross-sectional area and increasing cross-sectional means diverging cross-section. And the diffusers are opposite to nozzle. Diffuser are increasing pressure, reducing kinetic energy, while nozzle are designed to decrease pressure energy and increase the kinetic energy. That is, they, they'll accelerate the fluid and diffuser will decelerate the fluid. So in nozzle, if angle is large, so this is very important concept who, those who are going for masters and somewhere. Uh, in nozzle, if, ener if the angle is large, that is flow, flow rate, Q, Q is the flow rate, flow rate is large, then also there are no losses because of flow, because the flow is naturally in direction of lower pressure. So in nozzle at the inlet cross section and outlet cross section, the pressure are such that the, the exit pressure is lower, hence the flow is in the direction of higher pressure to lower pressure, while in diffuser, the flow is opposite in direction, that is towards higher pressure end. So the exit pressure in the diffuser is higher than the inlet pressure. So if the fluid loses its kinetic energy by friction at the wall, at the wall because of friction, the fluid can start moving back towards low pressure zone, that is towards the inlet. So this event is called as flow reversal. This is very important concept, flow reversal. So therefore there is a limit to maximum divergence angle. Otherwise we will have flow separation and eddy currents or eddy formation. So theoretically, maximum divergence angle in a diffuser is defined in two ways. The included angle, that means the, the total angle which we can have. If we have a diffuser, this is the diffuser, the total angle. This is the actual diffuser, inlet and outlet. This is the inlet, here is the outlet. So the total angle, if we define, sorry, let's use this. This is the diffuser and let's see. So this total angle is called as the included angle, which should be less than 11 degrees. And if we extend these lines, this half angle should be less than five degrees. That is actually 5.5, but we'll say five degrees. So now coming to the losses, we'll see the losses in the next video.